explains the reason we ride. The long journey honors the tough battle, the long journey that she had. The camaraderie with all the riders exemplifies her personality, her magnetic traits to bring people in. When I'm on the trail, I feel that Colleen's out there with me. I feel her presence on the trail. Uh, I feel that I can't give up. Uh, if I would, I wouldn't be honoring her the right way. This picture right here, I have a story about her. I took her shopping one day, and of course she couldn't walk, so I put her in the cart, you know, and uh, facing me and just going down the aisle. And two ladies came by, and they just literally stopped in their tracks, and they said, oh, what a beautiful baby. And she was, you know. She obviously didn't take after me, so took after her mother. Oh, silly. Everything she did, she had a smile on her face. Just happy is just the best word. She, she didn't know a bad day. She didn't know an enemy. She was a lot of fun. She loved being around people, loved getting to know anyone and everyone. Colleen had four older brothers, so that was a really good place in the family for her to be. The boys, as they developed, I could have turned a page to see what they were going to do the next day. They just went by all of the milestones. Colleen didn't. I think it's important to understand the depth of Colleen's journey. She was born with a disability that was largely mysterious. She lived her childhood and teenage years a healthy girl. And then epilepsy just kind of slowly set in at first. Hey, Colleen. Say hi. Hey. And then hit her the day before Thanksgiving of 2016. She never came back home uh, and passed away in, in August of 18. That was a very, very hard last 21 months. Things that we had never seen before for her to go through, for the family to go through. That was most difficult. The first day in 2016, when we were at Missouri Baptist, we had a friend, and that first night, she brought down a bag of goodies. We were just so touched by that, having no idea what lie ahead. When we got that bag, I remember saying, we're going to start doing care packages and taking them to ICU. So when she passed and the boys asked me what we wanted to do, I said, I want to do care packages. Colleen's favorite color was orange. So that is our color for our foundation. We wanted to help other people who have loved ones in ICUs or at nursing homes. And we had discussions like, well, they need a blanket, a toothbrush, things to just help pass the time as people are sitting there waiting for a loved one to hopefully heal and, and get well soon. And then it, it just kind of became broader the more we talked. We could help children with disabilities, adults with disabilities. Colleen's life really touched so many different people. And that truly became our inspiration for how we got to where we are today. It was really just Colleen's brothers and some relatives, our friends Good. had got together, okay, wanted to ride the trail. Sweaty. And one of our friends was inspired to, to say, hey, make this a fundraiser for the foundation. Started a GoFundMe page, and by the end of the weekend, I think we had raised $7,000. And then we realized this has got wheels. It's just continued to grow since then. She just had this innate ability to draw people in and draw them together. That's really the essence of who Colleen was as a person. The ride seems to accomplish that as well. 